Yeah. Okay, no, no. Yeah, we'll, we'll start away, guys. questions for Kansas student athletes. Raise your hand if you got a question, we'll get a mic to you. Hunter, what did you think of the reaction from the fans and Back and what did you think of the game in general and the reaction of the fans to you? Um, I mean, it was pretty expected. Uh, played in the Big Ten for three years. Uh, they kind of were, were familiar with me, but I think the game was really good um, for us. Uh, just be able to get a test on the road um, before the season starts to get all the new guys, um, all the freshmen, um, up to speed on what it's like to play, um, you know, high major college basketball. But I think it's just good for the team because, you know, we're a new team, uh, a lot of new pieces that are trying to mesh together. So I think, you know, being able to play a really good team on the road uh, was a good first test for us. I wonder how would you describe your relationship with Illinois fans? <laughs> uh, you know, I think it's... Um, uh, you know, it's a, you know, I think I think there's a. I, uh, I can't give you a good answer right now. I'm sorry. Okay. Hunter, you played against Illinois a couple of years. How do you compare this team versus some of the ones that they've had in the past? Um, this team, you know, feels really connected. Um, I feel like they play really well together. <clears throat> I think Coach Underwood's got a good squad um, that you know should be able to make some noise in the Big Ten. Okay. Oh, that's all. KJ and Hunter, do you guys feel like you learned anything about your team tonight? Yeah, a lot. There's a bunch of little things that we can um, fix during the season. We're going to have some tough practices coming up because of this, uh, some of the mistakes we did down the road in the first part of the game. But I think this is a great learning experience, especially to start a good exhibition game against a really good team. And I think we're going to learn from it and do good from now on. Hunter, for you personally, what are the, what are the main areas that you're going to look to improve based on this game? Um, I think defensively, um, obviously, I, I know I didn't, do good, do, I didn't do a good job out there. Um, I might have scored the ball well, but if you give up just as many points as you score, you're not really helping your team out. So I know I need to do better defensively. Hunter, you mentioned the freshmen. How did you feel like Jamari and Marco did uh, here? Uh, they did fine. Obviously, you know, they're not going to play perfect their first game. Um, but you know the, you can see the potential that they have, uh, and I think we have a coach that will bring it out of them. Um, you know they're super talented, and it's just a matter of getting them up to speed on playing um, high division one basketball. I know when I was a freshman a couple years ago, um, you know it was an adjustment period, but you just keep staying with it, keep staying um, aggressive, and just trying to fit in, and, and you'll do good. I think they have that mentality. KJ, what was it like out there? I mean, it's an exhibition game. Did it feel like that at all? No, not at all. It was it was a fun environment. Um, I, f I feel like the fans showed out for them. I feel like it was a great, um, I guess, test and just a good play environment for us to be. So I think it was pretty fun. Obviously, we didn't come with the final result like we wanted, but it was a, it was a fun game and it's a great time to learn. KJ, what was the problem? With them shooting in so many threes compared to you guys, nine to three, I think, or whatever. Uh, Kings asked anyone. What did you think of your three-point defense? Um, obviously, we didn't do as well as we wanted to, but there's a little things we can tighten up during the next practices. Hunter, you're pretty familiar with Terrence. What did you see from him tonight, and how his game's grown? Uh, I mean, he definitely came out aggressive. Um, I mean, he scored 28 points. Obviously, uh, he was really feeling it, but we got to do a better job of. Uh, not letting them, you know, get so comfortable early on in the game. I think we get um, myself gave him a couple of too many easy looks off the pick and roll, and I think that really um, got him going. And so once you got a good player like that uh, feeling himself and feeling it out there, uh, it, can, it can be hard to stop. But um, we got to do a better job of helping out the guy guarding him and, and really um, making him beat not just him but also us as a whole. Anything else? Okay, let's go. Let's go.